In this video, we're going to look at some examples where we add two digit numbers, like 22, and then add a one digit number to that, like 3. In long addition, we add the 3 to the ones unit of 22. That's this first number right here. So when we do long addition, we start usually at the right, and 3 plus 2 is 5. Now 2 over here in the 22, this represents 20, and notice there's nothing here to add it to. It's empty. So it's just going to be 2. And the answer will be 25. Let's try some more. What if I tried 34 plus 4? Well then I would add the 4 and the 4 to get 8. And again, this 3, well there's nothing to add it to. So, for my answer, I'll just write 38. And next, let's try 53. If I add 53 plus 6, what do I get? Well, what's 3 plus 6? That's 9. And the 5, well, in 50, there's nothing to add it to, right? Because with 53, we have a 50 and a 3, and with 6, we just have 6. So the answer is going to be 59. And you see in all these examples that um, what's happening is we, we're just adding up the combination of the small number and the number above it each time. Right? 3 and 2 gave us 5. 4 and 4 gave us 8. 6 and 3 gave us 9. And in every case, because there's only a single digit in the bottom and we didn't have anything that added over 10, our second number stayed the same. Let's try three more, and then we'll try some where the, the, the tens place will actually change. So let's try 54 plus 5. Well, what's 4 and 5? That's 9. And again, there's nothing here to add, so it's 59 again. What about 92 plus 6? Well, 6 plus 2 is 8, and there's nothing to add here, so the answer is 98. Now what happens if a problem gets a little bit tougher? What if we do 22 plus 9? Well here, what is 9 plus 2? Well, 9 plus 2 is 11. And in long addition, what we do is we write one of the ones here in 11 and the other one up here. Why do we do that? Well, think about the number 11 for a moment. What is 11? Well, 11 is made from 1, 1, 1, 1, that's this one right here, and then 1, 10. That's what 11 is, right? It's just a 10 and a 1. So 1, 10 and 1, 1. So when we have 9 plus 2 is 11, we write this one in this column because it really represents this one which is 110. And what's really important about long addition is that this is the tens place. We really have to pay attention to our place value. So every time we have a 10, we put it in this column. So when you have 11, you have a 10 and a 1. So now what we do is we add 2 plus 1 to make 3. And that really represents 30. So our answer now is 31. Let's try some more. What if I did 35 plus 5? Well, what's 5 plus 5? That's 10. And what is 10? Well, 10 has no 1s and 1 10. So we put that 1 in the 10s column. And now we add 30 and 10, or 3 plus 1 is 4. And our answer is 40. What if I did 47 plus 4? Well, what's 7 plus 4? Well, that's 11 again. So we write 1, 1 here and 1, 1 up there. And this 1 again represents a 10. So we have 51 when I add the 4 and the 1. We'll try some more of this in the next video.